I'm also your Sunday school teacher at church, so you can tell me what. You see, I've noticed like when you were in class, I knew your mind was not in that place. You were there physically, but your mind was somewhere else. I knew something was not right. And even in church on Sunday, when the Bible study was going on, you were not there. You were there physically, but your mind was not there. I noticed that you were not you are not yourself. I'm pregnant. I pregnant? Yes, I am. Oh my God. Are you still oh. cohabiting with that boy? Yes, with James. Okay, yes. his name is James. Oh my God. Uh -huh. Gladys, remember when you when you joined this university in your first year and you told me about this? I, I, I advised you that it's not a good idea. And since then I thought maybe you've sorted yourself. Yes, I know. You know, when you and the uh, Westia team wanted to visit me, I said you shouldn't come. And that's when I opened up to you. Well, you know, we are financially challenged. <laughs> My parents only, they could only send me talking, you know, that will cover my rent, money for my feeding, for my uh, transportation to school, even clothing for my books. I don't have. And you know, I thought that sharing the room with James, he will pay up, I will pay up on the rent, and the remaining I'll be able to use to pay your rent. So, but come to think of it, you are now in your third year. So, do you mean your parents never visited you just to see where you stay on campus? My dad is always very busy with the ministry. You know, we you know my parents are ministers in Germany. But my mom, she has made several things. But I wouldn't allow her to come to, you know. How will she feel as a minister? That her daughter is cohabiting with a man. Oh. So I tried to find a way to say no more. I will come up. So I'll... Okay. 
have you told James about this? I haven't. I haven't told anyone. You are the first person to know about this. Because I feel like if you should know now, you will ask me to leave the room. How do, where will I begin? I don't even have anything. Okay. And are you planning to tell your father soon? Oh my dad. They would demote him as a minister. If they would demote both of them, and uh, no, I can't tell my dad. I can't tell them. And your mom? Oh, I, I believe this will kill her if she gets to know that I'm pregnant. Uh, you know she's she's suffering from high blood pressure. Okay, Gladys. But do you know that? You have to keep this baby. <laughs> Since you... <laughs> Gladys, I don't want you to forget who you are. You are a child of God. The Bible says in Proverbs 14, 12, it said there is a way that seems right to a man, but the way is the way of God. And you don't want that to happen to you. And I know I love God. Do you get me? <laughs> and there is no way... You can be living in sin and you think it will not find you out. Sin always has a way to find one out. I only have six months to go. I am this way, this now. You know that you cannot continue from one sin to another sin. You understand? At this point that you are in, at this point in time, and again, you cannot help God. I, really, I understand your situation to say financial situation makes you to, to start cohabiting. But... Cohabiting is a sin. It has its own consequences. So you cannot, you cannot be, be dining with the devil and, and expect that there will be no consequence. There is always a consequence. You get what I'm trying to say? I'm not trying to, I'm not judging you, but I just want you to realize who you are. Don't forget who you are, your identity. So, Firstly, I want you to erase in your mind that maybe you are going to do anything to this pregnancy or to the baby. But there is nothing you can do that to keep it. You cannot. You, I, 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 I'm not sure what you are thinking in your mind, but abortion is not. It's, it's not an option because you are a child of God. You understand? So I know God is going to guide us on how to pray about it. God is going to direct us. Your parent needs to know. They, they need to know what is going on. And let us pray. I want us to pray for guidance. Okay. So Gladys, um, I need to come now. I have a meeting to attend. But I want you to say it to me. This is important. Make sure you say it to me. I would accept to you, but I don't know when I will finish my meeting. Tomorrow, please, make sure you see. Okay. Okay. <sighs> so, what next? 